Hey guys, today we're going to create simple but very effective true or false slide in Microsoft PowerPoint. Like always, you will be able to download this free template. The link will be in the description. But wait, let's look how I made it first. So I simply add a text frame for our question here at the top. It's more like a statement because we will have true or false option here. All right, so let's paste some statement here and we can also select the text and reformat this box. I would like to keep it kind of minimalistic, clear and simple. So I will pick Roboto, I will keep the text black, just black text on the white backdrop, all right? So I don't wanna overdo it, no fancy colors or dark backdrop here, all right? Just like this. And then we're, doing, we're going to do something differently. Most of those templates use animations, but we are going to use transitions. So take a look, I'm adding shape. We will need two shapes, just simple rectangles. So a rectangle here covering half of the screen, like one quarter, you can say. And then we will give it some kind of reddish color, red color, dark red will do. No outline. And then we can tap on the shape so we can add text inside. And this will be false. I will make this text larger. And I will also turn it red, but a little bit darker than the rectangle itself. So it will be very minimalistic, very subtle. All right, so I select the same color and then I modify it to be a bit darker. All right, like that. That should be enough okay so that's our false let's duplicate this i will just use command c command v very simple shortcut to make a copy of this false option and we'll turn it into true on the right side of the screen all right so this time we're going for the green color and also we modify the font color to the same green and then make it just a little bit darker like that all right, and that's our base design. Very effective, very simple, easy to understand, easy to see. All right, and now let's duplicate this whole slide. That's the trick here. We are not going to play with animation, so that will be really easy to use. Duplicate the whole slide. And now for this question, the correct answer is false. So by turning this green side to be really small and expanding the false. Now I'm working on a duplicate, all right? So that's the second slide. First slide and the second with the false in the center. All right, let's duplicate those two slides and let's create additional question for uh, true. So let's say Berlin is a capital city of Germany. That would be true, all right? And then I make a duplicate that show the correct answer. This time I will make the red color tiny, indicating that that was the wrong answer, and we'll expand the true. All right, and to make everything move smoothly and nicely, we need to apply a transition effect called morph to all of that. All right, let's take it for the test right and see that there's any room for improvement. So, slideshow. All right, you click on the screen and then the false option will stay and the true will disappear. So the audience know that the false was the correct option. And for the next question, it's similar. You click on it, you move to the next slide and the true is the main option here. All right, I really like it. It's really simple and you don't need to worry about animations and adjusting that stuff while you're creating more questions. Just simply duplicate what we got already here. We can even get rid of this little green color on it if you want to keep it completely red. So let's redo it a little bit differently. So it's start like that, right? It's balanced and then we can move it back. So the true will be below false like that. And same here. This time we will get the false below the true, all right? So we don't need to keep this little red piece. All right, so we can cover 100% of the screen with the correct 
option here. Keep in mind, this is a simply a visual slide. We don't need to use any plugin or stuff like that to get this effect. All right, so the false covering the true. That's nice. And for the next question, that will be very similar this time, the true covering the false. That's really, really easy to understand and easy to use. As I mentioned, there will be a link for you in the description so you can download this template and simply duplicate as many times as you want for each question. Just keep in mind, for one question, you need two slides. So one slide is the question slide, when we got the balance false and true. And another question, another slide is the answer slide for that question when you got only one option left at the top. So let's try. I duplicate two slides and now I can simply change the question. So this would be true question because I copied the true question. So Warsaw is the capital city of Poland. All right. And I already, I need to copy this statement again to the answer slide as well. So each question required two slides, the statement one and the answer one. Let's try it out for the last time that everything's all right. All right, false covering nicely. Going back to the center for the next question. Now true covering. And the next question. And this one is true as well. All right, I think it's really simple and minimalistic. Get the template down below and subscribe for more PowerPoint templates. See you in the next video.